now coming to the next slide application of ai in mechanical engineering as we know that the ai is widely used are everywhere but we are studying in mechanical engineering so we will correlate our ai study with the mechanical engineering with the help of this slide so ai smart manufacturing application which is located in center with gray circle now how this is works first one is a defect detection i will go from left to uh, anti clockwise direction left defect uh, defect detection it is correlated with the automatic process control or process optimization then next to quality assurance that is avm and avm is connected to raw material combination optimization and that raw material combination optimization is correlated to predictive maintenance that is vrar and that is again related to defect detection this is how it is work so this is the actually cycle where it is go in loops continuous so this is how it is works so in manufacturing process these are the standard checks while you processing any kind of object or uh, product these are the requirements of this and this is a continuous process where ai can be play very important role to perform all these kind of operations so being as a mechanical engineer you supposed to know all these standard procedures so i'll uh, hopefully that you understand this how this is correlated to each other come to the next slide the ml process now the machine learning process is will start from the basics so the first one in machine learning process is get data that is in stage 1 second stage is clean and prepare and manipulate data so whatever the data you received that data may be in raw format or data that data may be in uh, some having another data set which is may not be consistent for the further operations so clean and prepare and manipulate data manipulation is nothing but whether we required or or, or not or whether we required particular data sets or we require we require only number of sets in data that is manipulation we are doing the third state is a train model so accordance with the training of the model that we have to define the how the algorithm or the how the flow process will be carried over it so third one is a train model and the fourth one is a test data where all the training model output or the combination of data set or result may be tested in the fourth set and the final one in again improve the how after the getting the uh, results if we need the improvisation in particular results then we again go for the this standard data procedure and doing lot of combinations to get this kind of data now come to the next point uh, data acquisition data acquisition acquisition or uh, now we may receive the data in various formats but the data supposed to be in what we call in reading format so we call that is a data reading formats so it may be in a different way so here you can ppt the first data acquisition method is data supposed to be in analog format this is in sine wave in the first one here you can see analog and the second data set is supposed to be a digital format this is these are the standards of the data sir and the third one is a counter or timer based data set fourth one is a sensor data set fifth one is a motors data set that is in terms of displacements in terms of other values fourth one is a relays that is used in electricals now how this is used in data acquisition techniques here you can see the physical system it may consist of this uh, physical system is transferred 
to a transducer sensors means the physical system is attached with the transducer sensors and transducer centers will produce a signal and that produced signal will conditioning it and that conditioning will be ad converter will convert into again that required format of the computers and the computer will convert into what we call binary or the computer readable format as we can see that the physical system may cons it's showing that a single sine wave format that is up and down sine wave now after into transducer produce a, a, a blur of lot of data based sine wave plotting will be occurred so here you can see lot of blur and all those things are come here now the signal conditioning will condition the signals uh, with the help of the uh, signal conditioning and it will nullify the garbage data and the ad converter will convert this conditioned uh, sine wave or conditioned data to into digital formats or readable formats of the computer and the data will be passed to the computers and at the final the data will received from convert to the computer it will be in binary format so this is the complete cycle where we can see this one